Hi students, this is Srinivas. I am working as an assistant professor in Pyra College PG courses, Vishakhapad. Today, I am going to teach you a very important topic as far as a management is concerned, that is operations research. Now, I am going to teach you simplex method. So, we have a LPP problem, that is maximum Z equal to 10x1 plus 5x2. Subject constraints 3x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 36. 2x1 plus 6x2 less than or equal to 60 and 5x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 50 uh, with non to con uh, the constraints x1 comma x2 greater than or equal to c okay guys so we are going to solve this problem by using simplex method so the first step is all of you first we have to check the object function is in the form of maximization or minimization it is a maximization so we will move on to the, the next step if it is minimization convert it to maximization why we have to convert it to maximization? Every company is looking for maximize the profit. So obviously the given problem, the given object function is in the form of maximization. The next step is of you. So we have to make these inequalities into equalities by introducing slack variable. Why? Because this is all about the less than uh, what you call less than or equal to. So all of you, so to make the inequalities into equalities by introducing slack variable called x1, that is 3x1 plus 3x2 plus s1 is equal to 36 and second one that is 2x1 plus 6x2 plus s2 is equal to 60 and one more 5x1 plus 2x2 plus s3 is equal to 50 now we are going to change this inequalities into equalities by introducing slag variable s1 s2 s3 now we are so we have a standard form of matrix so the standard form of matrix is all of you x equal to b now i'm going to represent all the above equations in terms of the standard form of matrix x1 x2 s1 s2 and we have s3 that is the coefficient so the, the coefficient of x1 is 3 the coefficient of uh, x2 is again 3 we have s1 in s uh, in the first equation we don't have s2 and s3 so it will be 0 0 in the second one there again 2 6 we don't have s1 in the second equation so that is 0 and this one is 1 and this one is 0 and the last one that is 5 2 we don't have s1 and again s2 so the cost will be 0 0 and for the, the coefficient of s3 is 1 and this are about a and we have a declared all the equations so that is x1 x2 s1 s2 s3 and with the x equal to b that is b is of you 36 60 and 50. All right, this is all the standard form of uh, matrix. So, all of you, so what are the row and the column of this? So, that's one, two, three rows we have. One, two, three, four, five columns in this. And we have one, two, three, four, five rows and only one column. The matrix multiplication is applicable where we are going to multiply any sort of a matrix with the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. If you are going to multiply these two, that is 3x1 plus 3x2 plus s1 equal to 36. So this is all about the equation. If you are going to multiply 2x1 plus 6x2 plus 0s1 plus 1s2 plus 0s3 equal to 60. This is all about it. In the same way, the process will continue. Now, the modified object function. The modified objective function is all of you max z equal to 10x1 plus 5x2. So these are the given object function. Now we are going to modify with the with the help of the constraint. So we introduce a slag variable now. So the cost will be zero. And for s2 also the cost will be zero. And for s3 also the cost will be zero. Why? Because we introduce the three slag variables. So obviously the cost of the introduced variable should be zero. Now we have to consider the first iteration table. That is the first. Iteration table that is we have a CB, YB, XB, and all the variables X1, X2, S1, S2, and S3. So we have a variables X1, X2, and all these slag variables S1, S2, and S3. What is uh, CB that is cost of the introduced variable? YB means introduced variables, and XB means AX equal to B that is the constants. 
uh, and we have a CJ. That is, what is CJ? The modified object function cost. So the cost of x1 is 10 in the problem given. If the cost of x1 is 5. We introduced variables cost will be 0, 0, 0. The next, we introduced yd. So that is, in yd we introduced the first equation, we introduced s1. In the second equation, we introduced s2. In the third equation, we introduced s3. The introduced cost variables will be 0 like this. s1 0, s2 0 in the same way, s3 0. And a is equal to b, we have b is 36, 60 and 5 0. Now we have represent the total matrix here, that is 3, 3, 1, double 0, 2, 6, 0, 1, 0, 5, 2, 0, 0, 1. We have an item matrix, so that is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And after this we have a very important three steps here, that is maximum z. The formula for maximum z is summation cb into xp. So that is all of it. So that is summation CB and XB means 0 into 36, 0 plus 0 into 60, 0 plus 0 into 50, 0. Why it is a plus? It is all of our summation. So simply we have to CB into XB that is 0 into 36 plus 0 into 60 plus 0 into 50. That is the final answer is 0. And after we have a formula that is ZJ. ZJ equal to summation CB into XB. That is simply our multiply CB with X0 value. So that is X1, X2, S1, S2, S3. That is 0 into 3, 0. Summation is plus 0 into 2, 0. Again plus 0 into 5, again 0. So that is I am uh, running the summation Z equal to 1. So if I, if I put Z equal to 1, that is X1. So I am going to multiply CB into X1 first of all. So, uh, so just to recalculate the value is 0. In the same if I put z equal to 2, that is cb into x2. So that is cb into x2 means I am going to multiply cb values with x2. 0 into 3, 0 into 6, plus 0 into 2, obviously 0. When we are going to multiply with 0, the values will be 0. So again the tempo will continue. So that is 0, 0 and 0. And finally we have a net evaluation condition, zj minus cj, greater than or equal to 0. Here we have zj. And we, and we have CJ here, that is 0 minus 10, that is minus 10, 0 minus 5, again minus 5, 0 minus 0, that is again 0 minus 0, and again 0 minus 0. Here, the net evaluation condition is not satisfied. So the word itself say iteration. So iteration means we, we are going to repeat the conditions like anything until this condition is satisfied. So here in this case, the condition is not satisfied. So we have a one more uh, table. For this. So, in this case, we have to take minus of maximum. From the minus, we have to take the maximum. So, we have minus 10 and minus 5. If you take minus as common, that is 10 and 5, so that is minus of maximum is 10. After this, we have a minimum ratio rule. That is, the minimum ratio rule is xb by xj. So, xb by xj. So, j means, so this arrow will indicate x2. So simply I am writing xb by x1. For example, uh, if I have uh, here minus 15, so we have to consider this value. So in this case, we have to put xb by, so this arrow will indicate x2. So we have to put x2. Clear? So xb by x2. So what is xb? 36 by 3. So that is 36 by 3 is all of you 12. And one more, that is 36 by, sorry, uh, 60 by 2 is 30. And finally we have 50 by 5 that is 10. So in this case we have to take minus of maximum. In this case we have to consider plus of minimum. So we have to consider plus of minimum. So in this uh, the, the minimum value is 10. So obviously this is all about the kill. So from this if you combine these two arrows the value should be kill. So because of this key element we are going to not satisfies this condition that is ZJ minus CJ. So we have our three steps for the next iteration step. First step is of you, we have to make this key element as unity by dividing itself. First we have to make this 5 as 1. And make all the elements in the key column has to be 0. So we have to make 3 and 2 both are 0. Some, uh, so we have to do some sort of a row operations for this. So we have a second iteration step. Here. 
second hydration tip so as you will get out cb yb xb x1 x2 we have all other variables s1 s2 s3 and we have a cj that is 10 5 0 0 0 in this case x1 is incoming vector and s3 is outgoing vector so these are the key elements so obviously x1 will be here and s3 will be the outgoing vector for example r3 is a key element for example then obviously x2 will be the incoming vector and s1 will be the outgoing vector in this case x1 will be the incoming vector and s3 will be the outgoing vector so obviously here i am going to write the first value x1 the cost of this x1 is 10 here so already i told you we have to make the key element into unity by dividing itself so we have a key element fine so we have to so we, we are going to divide this entire row by 5 for example if you have a 4 you have to divide this entire row by 4 so in this case we have a 5 so obviously we are going to divide this entire row by 5 that is 50 by 5 that is 10 5 by 5 1 2 by 5 that is again 2 by 5 that is 0 by anything again 0 0 by anything again 0 and 1 by 5 so we are, we are going to make this key element as unity by dividing itself now we have to make all the elements in the key column has to be 0 and there is no operation for s1, s2 so obviously the s1 and s2 variables will be as usual the cost will be 0 and 0 now we have to make all the elements in the key column has to be 0 ok so first I am going to uh, make this 3 as 0 so that so what you have to do is you have to do some sort of a rough work so I am using here so we have to make this 3 as 0 so first write this row that is 36 3 again 3 1 double 0 already we made this so consider this one that is 10 1 2 by 5 0 0 1 by 5 so we have to get 0 here here we have 3 so without loss of generality I am multiplying this second row into 3 if you have 4 multiply with 4 if you have a 10 multiply with 10 so that is 3 into 10 that is 30 3 1s are 3 3 2s are 6 by 5 3 0 is 0 3 0 is 0 and again 3 by 5 now I am going to subtract these two that is minus 36 minus 30 that is 6 3 minus 3 that is 0 as usual 3 minus 6 by 5 that is 3 minus 6 by 5 that is 15 minus 6 so that is 9 by 5 1 minus 0 again 1 0 minus 0 again 0 and 0 minus 3 by 5 that is minus 3 by 5 so we have to write this entire row here that is 6 0 9 by 5 1 0 and minus 3 by 5 now so all of you we are going to make this key element as unity and make all the elements in the key column has to be 0 so already we made this 3 as 0 now we have to make this 2 as 0 so the same uh, tempo we have to apply here all of you so that is consider the value that is 2 that is the entire row that is the second row 60 2 6 0 1 0 again we have to consider the key row that is 10 1 2 by 5 0 0 1 by 5 so we have a 2 we have a 1 so we have to get 2 here so with the loss of general term and with 2 2 tens are that is 20 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 by 5 0 0 2 by 5 so now I am going to subtract these 2 60 minus 20 that is 40 2 minus 2 that is 0 6 minus 4 by 5 that is 6 minus 4 by 5 30 minus 4 that is 26 by 5 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 0 that is 1 0 minus 2 by 5 minus 2 by 5 so I am going to write here that is 40 0 26 by 5 0 1 minus 2 by 5 After this, as usual, we have to uh, represent those uh, three equations. So that is all of you. This is fine. 
that is we have maximum of z equal what is the formula for maximum of z all of you that is summation c b into x b again i am going to check all the conditions here 0 and 6 0 again 0 10 10 are 100 now we have a formula again z z what is the formula that is c b into x j 0 0 10 1 set 10 0 0 10 2 set 20 20 by 5 that is 4 0 0 0 again uh, 0 that is again 10 into 1 that is 10 by 5 that is 2 now we have a letter which you can use that is z j minus c j greater than 2 to 0 10 minus 10 that is 0 4 minus 5 that is minus 1 again 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 then again 2 minus 0 again 2 and in this case also the net aversion condition is not satisfies in the previous the first status table we have two natives in this table we have only one native so we are make sure that in the third table we are going to satisfy this net aversion condition that is jj minus cj rather equal to 0 so the same process of you have to consider minus of maximum Luckily, we have only one value that is uh, minus 1 only. After this, we have a minimum ratio rule as usual, xp by in this case, so this arrow will represent x2. That is xp by x2, that is 6 by 9 by 5. Uh, the answer is of you 3.3. Again, that is 40 by 26 by 5, that is 7.6. And we have that is 10 by 2 by 5, that is obviously our uh, 2 So, in this case, we have to consider plus of minimum. So, what is plus of minimum from these three? Obviously, 3.3 is 7.625, so obviously 3.3 is plus of minimum. So, now if you combine these two, that is 9 by 5 is the key element. In the previous problem, we got uh, 5 as the key element. So, because of this 5, we are unable to satisfy this net aversion condition. Now, we have a 9 by 5. So, in the, uh, so we have to make this key element as unity by dividing itself. So, 9 by 5 is the key element. So, in order to divide with 9 by 5, it's better to multiply with 5 by 9. And one more condition, x2 is incoming vector, s1 is outgoing vector. And make all the elements in the key column has to be 0. Now we have our, the final iteration table is here. Again, that is CB, YB, XB, X1, X2, S1, S2, S3. Let's hope that in this table we are going to satisfy the net option condition. And here that is we have a CJ that is 10, 5, 0, 0, 0. No, so all I told you, x2 is incoming vector, s1 is outgoing vector. So x2 will be here, the cost of x2 is 5 and there is no changes for s2 and x1. The cost of s2 is obviously 0 and the cost of x1 is 10. Uh, we have to make this key element as unity by dividing it. So in order to divide with 9 by 5, I am going to multiply with 5 by 9, that is 6 into 5 by 9, that is 6 by 30 by 9, that is 10 by 3. 0 is 0, so 9 by 5 into 5 by 9, that is 1, that is again 5 by 9. Uh, so obviously 0 is 0, and again minus 3 by 5 into 5 by 9, that is 5 by 9 gets cancelled, 3 ones are, again that is uh, minus, that is minus 3 by 5 into 5 by 9, that is obviously 5 by gets cancelled, 3 ones are, 3 threes are, that is minus 1 by 3. Now we have to make this 26 by 5 as 0, so all you have to do is, you have to take some sort of a rough, that is we have to make that diagonal, so take the second row, that is 40, 0, 26 by 5, 0, 1, minus 2 by 5. So already we made this as the, the identity that is 10 by 3, 0, 1, 5 by 9, 0, minus 1 by 3. Now I am going to make this uh, value as 0. So we have 26 by 5. Without loss of generality, I am multiplying this second row by 26 by 5. Yeah, okay. So I am going to multiply 10 by 3 into 26 by 5. That is uh, obviously 52 by 3. The final value should be 0 into anything can 0. That is 26 by 5. 5 by can cancel. We have 26 by 9. 0 into 0. That is minus 26 by 5 is a 50. Now I am going to 
to subtract these two. So 40 minus 52 by 3. So, so that is 120 minus 52 by 3. That is 68 by 3. 0 minus 0 is 0. And 26 by 5 minus 26 by 5. That is 0. 0 minus 26 by 9. That is 26 by 9. 1 minus 0. That is 1. Minus 2 by 5. Minus into minus plus 26 by 50. So obviously the LCM is 50. 5, 3, so that is minus 6 plus 26. So that is 20 by 15. So 20 by 15 means 4, uh, 5, 4 is 20. 5, 3 is 15. That is 4 by 3. Now I am going to write this entire row in the second row that is sort of. So that is, I am going to write this entire row that is 68 by 3. 0, again 0. Again minus 26 by 9, 1 more, 1 and 4 by 3. Now, we have to make the remaining value as 0. So, we made uh, the key element as unity, so that is uh, 9 by 5 as unity and make this 26 by 5 as 0. Now, we have to make 2 by 5 as 0. So, as usual, first we have to write the entire row in your rough sheet, that is 10. We have 1. 2 by 5, 0, 0, 1 by 5. Now we have to consider the, the key row that is once again 10 by 3, 0, 1, 5 by 9, 0, minus 1 by 3. So we have 1 by 5, sorry, take a part, we have a 2 by 5 here, we have 1. So without loss of generality, I am acting with 2 by 5 here. So that is 20 by 15, that is 20 by 15 means all of you, so as usual 4 by 3. So that is 4 by 3 here, 0 to the 0, 2 by 5, 5 by gets cancelled, 2 by 9, 0 to the 0, minus 2 by 5, these are 15. Now we have 2 by 5 and again 2 by 5, so with the loss of general and I'm uh, subtracting these two. 10 minus 4 by 5, that is 10 minus 4 by 5, that is 30 minus 4, that is 26 by 3. 1 minus 0, 1, 2 by 5 minus 2 by 5 is 0 as usual. So that's what we are looking for. 0 minus 2 by 5, that is minus 2 by 5, 0 minus 0, 0. And 1 by 5 as usual, 1 by 5 minus into minus plus, so that is 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5. 15. So LCM is 15, 3 is a plus 2 is a, that, that is 5 by 15, that is 5 by 1 is a, 5 3 is a, 1 by 3. Now I am going to write this entire row in the third row, that is 26 by 3, 1, 0, minus 2 by 9, 0, 1 by 3. Now I am going to stop this. So, so uh, we made this key, key element as unity and, uh, and all the elements are zero and uh, the next three steps so that is obviously the maximum of z so that's why this table call it as the iteration table that is the we, we are going to repeat the same formula once again and again that is some cv index be that equal to that is 50 by 3 plus 260 by 3 so the lcm is 3 that is 310 by 3, the final. And we have a ZZ. That the formula is summation C B index A 0, 0, 10, 5, 0, and again 0, that is 5. 5 is 25 by 9, that is 25 by 9 minus 20 by 9, that is simply 5 by 9. And one more, 5 into 0, 0, 0, and again 0, that is simply 0. Minus 5 by 3, plus 10 by 3. Minus 5 by 3, plus 10 by 3, so obviously 5 by 3. Now finally, the net equation condition, ZJ minus CJ, greater than equal to 0. 10 minus 10, that is 0. 5 minus 5, this is equal to 0. 5 by 9 minus 0, that is again 5 by 9. 0 minus 0 0 and 5 by 3 minus 0 again 5 by 3. So obviously all of you here we are going to satisfy this net average condition. So all the values are positive. Hence we can conclude that maximum z is 310 and x1 is 26 by 3 and x2 is 10 by 3. If, if you want to check so we can check here. 
So the given object function is all of you. Check it here. So the given object function is maximum z equal to 10x1 plus 5x2. So that equal to 10 in. Yeah, what is the value of x1 here? 26 by 3 plus 5 into. So what is so yeah, what is the value of x2? 10 by 3. So that is 260 by 3 plus 50 by 3. That is 310 by 3. So obviously. So we got this answer 310 by 3 here. And if you put the values in x and x2, obviously this is satisfied. Hence the conclusion all of you. A company could make a profit of 310 by 3 uh, the value if you are going to fix the values of x1 as the product is so that is 26 by 3 and x2 is how much 10 by 3 then obviously the company could make a profit of in the form of maximization that is 310 by 3 thanks a lot for watching this all the best